gallery templates. So let's just follow the instructions here on the right side. It's going to show us a few more things about uh, galleries. Connect the gallery to the data source contacts like we did before. So we'll click on this drop down, select contacts. Number two, using the properties panel, select the title and subtitle layout instead of blank. So you see this layout here. So we click on this little blank and they want us to select title and subtitle. So we'll click on that. Now, something that's become obvious to me as I was stepping through this is you don't see anything in this gallery. And uh, this is really unfortunate because this template was made for beginners to go through all the basics. And I'm sitting here as I was stepping through these, the steps that are outlined on the screen. Why is it that I can't see the, the data? I mean, we've connected to the contacts just like we did in the previous screen. So um, within Power Apps, as you put controls and things on a screen, things can be on top of each other. Okay, so over here in the tree view on the left side here, we see gallery two, and that's what we're working with here. What we need to do is click on these three dots, do a reorder, bring it to the front. Look at that. Now we can see it. Now that we have that straightened out, let's get back to the directions here. So using the property panel, select the title and subtitle layout instead of blank. So it wasn't blank, but we're going to select title and subtitle. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it moves it to the back again. Let's do this again. So by the way, I, I don't use templates. So this particular lesson is about templates. I never use templates within the galleries. Let me show you what I do. When I want to use a gallery, I'm going to pick either between a, a uh, blink vertical or a blink horizontal. Blink vertical is probably what you use most of the time. 90, 95% of the time. And then if, if you want like repeating tabs or things to repeat horizontal, you might use this, but blank vertical is the one that I would recommend to use almost all the time. But uh, in the interest of just sort of keeping with the plan, keeping with this template, let's just power through this. Okay, shall we? <laughs> all right, so we have the gallery at the top. In the same panel, connect the subtitle label to company field. So this is the, the subtitle, as you can see here, in the gallery, there is a label called subtitle three. So we are gonna connect that to company. So instead of business phone up here at the top, this label, you can go over here, you can go to the top and change it there, or you can go over and click text, and that will bring it up here. Okay, so let's just type in company. There we go. And they want title be changed to uh, full name. So click on title, and I've got full name there. All right, edit the gallery template to set the title text color to red. So there's the title, the text color over here, color, or we just click on this, select a red color that we like. Very good. Remove the chevron icon from the template. So they want us to remove this. So you click on it and click delete. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can get dense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.